I want to bring in Dr. Perry Wilson to talk more on this. Good morning, doctor. Why do you think we are seeing such a huge spike in the cases? Because it feels like it's definitely spreading quicker, or is that just me? Oh, no. It's, it's, it's not just you. I think everyone watching this probably knows at least someone who's got COVID right now. There's three reasons. Number one, this variant is simply more infectious than prior variants, substantially more. It's better at binding to human cells and infecting them. Uh, number two, it can evade immunity, whether that's vaccine-induced immunity or what I call survivor immunity, those the immunity gained from prior infection. Um, fortunately, it doesn't cause as severe disease in people of prior immunity. And, and, and number three, something that people don't often uh, talk about is that the period between when you are infected and when you can infect someone else is substantially shorter with Omicron than other variants. And what that means is that each generation of infection, you know, one person infects another, infects another, infects another, that's being compressed. And if you compress that, you're going to get a surge of cases over a shorter period of time. So all those are coming together to cause the spike we're seeing right now. Another major concern here is kids because it seems to be spreading very quickly, very rapidly in the kids population. You know, lots of kids going to the hospital and that percent is up 50 percent. How concerned should we be as they return to school in person after winter break? Right. Well, look, I want to be clear that Omicron is not more severe in kids, as far as we know, than any other variant. It's just that if you have more cases, the very small percentage of kids who do get fairly sick from coronavirus is going to go up because that denominator, the number of cases, is bigger. Um, there will be increased cases in schools as we go back, as there are increased cases in the community. But remember, the studies have really shown that keeping schools open does not substantially contribute to that community spread of COVID. And it's so good for kids to be in school. So I really urge communities, if, you're, if your healthcare systems are getting stressed, schools should be the last thing you think about closing. Those kids, by and large, do very well with COVID. If you're in a community like that, think about closing bars, think about closing restaurants, try to keep those kids in school. It's good for them. Even five and under? Even five and under, though they're not yet eligible for vaccination, by and large, the vast majority of those kids do very well. Of course, if your child is uh, in a vulnerable population, you want to make sure that your school has plans in place uh, to continue educating them if you want to keep them home, if you're more comfortable keeping them home. All right. Dr. Perry Wilson, thank you so much for your medical expertise.